Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be making the second set of five cards out of the ten cards one kit Simon Says Stamp January 2019. And hold on, please come back because there may be more. I have a lot of supplies and ideas left. So there may be some more. So check back, please. Now the first card is uh, using a, the patterned paper and I uh, use this dusty blue and the red out of my stash because I wanted to match uh, the colors in the print paper but I used uh, Martha Stewart, uh, Martha Stewart um, edge punch and on this blue paper and just to give it some detail then put down and put that on top of red, um, the white card base, the blue, the red now the print paper and then another set of red squares with a black just leaving a tiny bit of red to show just for interest and um, then the cute little saying that comes in the kit and baby it's cold outside I decided to add a little something extra by putting some little brads little tiny black brads in the corners so I used my 16th inch hole punch and I measured uh, I didn't show it here but I did measure to be sure they would line up and uh, so I started sticking them through and spreading the bread uh, back out but um, it got a little more difficult and unwieldy and I just decided I was using my screwdriver there to spread those out and I just decided to go ahead and take it apart and uh, show you how I put in all four at the same time spread out those what do we call them tines or wings or whatever they are uh, to the brads and then went down and used cellophane tape to tape it down just to be sure they didn't slip and the, the little black wings would stick out from behind the card so now I'm back to gluing it back down again showing the little edge and um, the different colors giving it dimension and interest and so there is the first card uh, I really should say the sixth card go back and see my other uh, video please of the first five cards for this season now that one you saw I scored it on the scoreboard and uh, so I could fold it and, and now this is going to be using patterned paper again and I go around my edges with a neutral ink and give them a little frame a little edge and the other pieces I'm just showing how I put the glue on it I use Tombow mono multi glue because it's repositionable when it dries and so on the card base I'm putting down a layer of brown don't worry about that hole down there it's going to be covered up <laughs> and then the beige snowflake paper and then that dusty blue again and then I remembered uh oh well I, I'll go ahead and put the aqua down and then I remembered uh oh I forgot to put down the white I'd cut an extra piece of white to go behind the beige paper and it does show up more up close but uh, so I have all these layers and I think the colors are so pretty together I just love it for a soft look and this little sentiment uh, card stock was in the kit of course and it says the chill of winter is warmed by family and friends and has some little bluebirds there so cute now these snowflakes I've shown them in other videos of mine but this is the Doris die called snowflake border and uh, I cut the border out and then cut the snowflakes apart so that I can use them uh, separately and, and in independently and so I used a couple of them and kept it simple so the next card three is not in essence a card but uh, it could be but these uh, black tags that are so striking were in the kit three of them so again I wanted to play with the uh, pattern papers and so I played and played with them and mixed them up which ones I thought looked good together which ones I liked together I'll put it that way and um, <clears throat> I was going to put them just right up against each other butted up against each other and then I thought well I could use a black strip of cardstock to add some emphasis and I thought well why should I do that I'll just when I put them down I'll just separate them and the black cardstock of the tag will show through 
And as you can tell, the uh, pieces of pattern paper are not the same size. Uh, the black uh, showing through uh, from the tag, I didn't make those the same size. I didn't try to measure. I did each one individually what I thought looked good on each individual tag. And um, then the next question was what to put on top. And I thought about a sentiment because the stamp set in this kit had a lot of nice sentiments. But I thought I've got three tags and there are three snowmen stamps uh, in the kit. So I'll just go with all of them. And this is what I call the baby. And uh, I put him on the first one. And I matched up a colored uh, end a little bit with Prisma colored pencils. And I matched the colors that I thought looked uh, good with those particular papers and tried to match as closely as I could. Now the next one is a, a guy with his top hat bringing a gift and I really like him. Put him in the middle and then the third one which is, I call her the mother because I think she's the mother of the, the little child there. But uh, I kind of moved her off to the side, off center, and uh, just did it individually, each one. Now, the, you know, I told you once before that I used to machine knit, so I have a lot of yarn. And so I did have the privilege of going and picking out yarn that would match with the aqua, the red, the blue, and then some white. And I separated them into one and two ply. But uh, poke them through the hole. I like for the knot to be on the front to show because it shows um, the colors of the yarn better, I think. So I stick them in from the front, fold it in half, stick it in from the front, make a loop, pull the remaining yarn through. And this one, the little red yarn, wanted to pooch out, so I had to tighten it up there. That's the reason I'm fiddling with it. Uh, but then um, show the yarn through there. And you can always go back and trim it if you like your tails shorter. I cut them kind of on an angle so that they'll have a little difference to them. But there are the three cards and I just <laughs> actually loved them and they're so simple but I love that black. I'm just going to show how you could definitely make a card with these and just do something for your background. And uh, then uh, the envelope that comes in the kit, there is a red envelope. These would very easily, all three fit. One or all three would fit in this envelope with absolutely no problem and it makes it would make a cute card also. And then on the back you could write something, the date or your name or to and from, or you could actually use one of the sentiments on the back, I'm snow in love with you, something like that. Or there are uh, thanks, there are a lot of thanks, or some thanks stamps. And uh, so these are reasonably easy to work with because they're fun too. It, it's um, fun to play with colors and the prints. little close up there and you can see the difference in the, in the paper and the width and the height of the different papers. And then there's the yarn. I also like those tan or brown uh, reinforcements around, uh, around the holes. Okay, so then the next one, I'm going to do some stamping uh, and use some of these uh, snowmen. I'm going to use, I'm going to call them the mommy and the child. Uh, you can interpret that any way you, you want to. I'm putting the mom down and the child and we're going to have a celebration. This is going to be a celebration card. I was just showing how I stamped them off on copy paper and use them to help me in my placement. Cut them, cut them out roughly and then where would I want the igloo to go? Where would I want the people, well people, the snowmen, <laughs> snow people to go? And then also of course you can always use it for a mask also. So I'm trying to match up the colors of the little pom-poms that are in the kit because I'm going to be using those, you'll see that. So I'm coloring in with um, pinks and greens and blue and there's a indigo blue, uh, almost purple, I guess, a dark purple or violet. And um, 
yellow and so anyway try to do a little bit of shading and highlight some of the colors and I do go back and color the igloo a little bit pale blue also but you see that later so I'm stringing these onto the my own black thread with the needles in the kit because I did them at first with the white thread that was that actually came in the kit and there it is and the I want it to look like a banner or like a string um, of I think that's that's not the one with the white but anyway I showed it just a second ago and uh, it um, it needed to have some dark thread to make it show up and to look like a garland so to speak or a banner and the white just uh, with the white thread they just looked um, like random balls so now I'm using this very simple die I bought a long time ago and I tried to match up the colors uh, the, of those balls and I cut out all these it says let's party so I cut them out in a lot of different colors and easily could just do let's party in one color or two colors I decided just for fun to cut up the different letters they're easy to cut apart and uh, just put them together and reform the word and glue them down even different color for the uh, apostrophe and for the exclamation point and even the dot at the bottom of the excla exclamation point <laughs> So uh, that's what that looks like. And here are the pom poms as a banner, and as the child and the mother are holding them in their hands, and uh, the long streamer, and they're going to work with them together to decorate. And those are tied, the black thread is tied on the back of the white card with cellophane tape to keep it in place, as well as the glue on. On some of the dots not every single one some of the pom-poms so I'd already put glue Tombow Mono multi glue on the backs of all these letters kind of starting with the middle of the word and working frontwards and backwards and I do go back and do a lot of tweaking uh, I wasn't real thrilled with the first layout so I just started moving some of the letters around and uh, making them fit into the white space better but I just really wanted this to look festive and partyish and happy and uh, the, the mother and the child stringing the pom-poms and then uh, putting them all over their igloo area for decoration now I wasn't thrilled completely with the green background I wanted more so I put a piece of pink from my stash and a piece of blue from my stash and made that bigger and what I was showing there was that was like the other card that I made where um, it's a card with some backing pieces now the next card is going to go back and use the pattern paper from the kit and um, there are three little pieces of the uh, cardstock with print on it and sayings almost like little postcards and so I'm building up for each one of those uh, and you can see the aqua and the blue and then red background I picked up the wrong piece of black that piece of black went down on the bottom it fit down there uh, white and black aqua and black red and black and then here's the first of the little sayings that says if kisses were snowflakes I'd send you a blizzard and then the other one we all love winter and then hot chocolate is like a hug from the inside really cute so here are some more of those snowflakes from that trim that I got uh, of a package my daughter gave me and she said she bought that trim at Hobby Lobby by the way so I cut it apart one little piece and fit it in because I'm going to put this little baby snowman on top and I just thought he needed something more behind him than just one snowflake I'm building up his head with some um, foam tape to keep him level and then I thought there's something missing we need a little bit more of that snowflake to show the way it would realistically be and so I'll just cut off one more little piece of snowflake and I'll zoom it in and let you see it just looks more realistic that way 
So that is it. Five cards very quickly. I hope you enjoyed it. I do have to rush through these to keep it from being too long. But uh, I hope you'd enjoy, you enjoyed it. And there will be some more videos at the end. And do please do come back because I'm almost positive I'm going to have more. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.